Garage gyms or even gyms are supposed to be places of enjoyment and getting healthier, but sometimes there are obstacles we have to overcome that are unplanned. Yes, you are going to have to do some maintenance on the equipment, and garage gyms can save yourself some money and time, but there is so much more that goes on in a garage gym that isn't discussed. When COVID surged in the beginning of March 2020, it pushed a lot of jobs from the office to being remote and shut down some businesses. One of those being gyms, sparking the garage and home gym revolution. But very few people were prepared for the closure, making it more difficult to keep their workouts consistent. This was a time when it felt like tearing a piece of paper in half with friendships and social events. Still, having a garage gym has resulted in meeting new people and keeping existing friendships more difficult than before. One of the main sources of social interaction was the gym even a place I met my girlfriend at. With keeping the garage gym and being a main source of fitness, the goal each week is to have one day where I'm able to go to the gym and have the possibility of working out with others. This doesn't compare where interactions were prior to 2020, but has allowed me to reduce the feeling of being disconnected from the world without having to rely on the news from a main source of information. This has been one way for me to help with building separation and leaving the house. Within the first year of using the garage gym full time, the house started to feel as if I was working 24 seven and could never escape the feeling. Working out started to mesh with work, which made working out a challenge to get a workout in the morning and also the afternoon making my energy very low. I made the decision multiple times to reduce the programming due to feeling exhausted and mentally. Something had to be done to create the separation from the garage and the rest of the house, which resulted in using each room for specific reasons. Prior to making the switch, I had my bedroom mixed with editing and recording videos office or the spare bedroom was a place to play video games and work during the day. The living room would be a place of lounging to watch TV and not where I could relax. The spare bedroom became the only place where I would work and edit, leaving the bedroom for a place for only sleeping. To break up working and going into the garage, I always try to get at least a 10 minute walk in to reset the mind and make it seem as if I am no longer at work. This has been the most efficient way to create the separation and make the garage a more enjoyable space. Being lonely is a big fear of most, and having to go to battle with your mind every day can cause mental wear day in and day out. How can you really avoid the burnout that comes from this? I just recently went through this resulting in my body starting to wear down, not recovering, and just not having any energy. You are always told to push through it and keep moving on because it will make you tougher, but sometimes that is going to push you into a mental hellhole, which will take years instead of weeks to recover. Have something you are training for like an event. Then after it is done, plan on taking some time away from the space by getting out and enjoying some fresh air by spending some time at the lake, bike riding, hiking, but you cannot stay in the house watching TV eating junk food. This will make the mental wear even worse and when you try to get back into working out, you are going to be pushing against a brick wall. Think of this like a reset and not a break. Social media has become a massive time sucker for anyone, not only in the gym between sets, but also work. You can get lost in scrolling through seeing what others are doing and new trends and forget about the task you are focused on. One recommendation to create another roadblock in looking at your friend's post is to sign out of all social media that create the most distractions. And then when you need to be looking at them, then I would just sign back in. Think about this like a detour, so it makes you think if you really want to go that route or continue on the path you are on now. Looking at computer screens doesn't help our learning process and can take some time away from us. Video games have become more popular with all the time being at home, but they can become addicting due to wanting to play them. I made the decision in 2020 to sell all my systems due to them taking away from my sleep reaching my goals of reaching my full potential. I am not saying you have to do this, but think about what causes you the most distraction and how they affect you mentally and things that are most important to you. Keep focused on one task at a time to help with reducing stress on your mind and will reap the benefits in your workouts. There is always a new product that seems to be a good fit in the garage gym and will get used enough to make it worth the purchase, but over time it just collects dust. When I eventually started a home gym, the first cardio equipment I bought was a skier because I thought it was really cool. 
In all honesty, this should have been the last piece I bought, or not at all, because I rarely use this more than twice a month. $800, that kind of was a waste of money. This is the feeling that can suck when you first start. So make sure that the equipment you are buying will benefit you the most in reaching your goals and also compare to other equipment in the same space to verify it will be worth it. Regret in losing money is never something we strive for. Over time, as you build the garage gym or home gym, you can start to build these specialty equipment. We lose track of why we work out. The garage can become a place that we want to show off to others. It is a tool to help us save time and money, but can help us reach our fitness goals when we are pressed for time. Anything you do in life can never be just for money or fame, but ask yourself if it is something you truly enjoy and if you will regret the decision later in life. One of those vital pieces of equipment in the garage is the wall mounted squat rack. Check out this video to see if this rogue piece is worth it.